Hi guys, so I was just browsing the YouTubes as I do and I came across the 5 Minute Crafts channel. What a channel. I was fascinated, I was encapsulated, I was entranced, I don't know what the word is, by some of these crafts that they claim to be real. And I'm like, how can they be real? And then I found a few that I was genuinely interested in and genuinely looked like they were plausible and could potentially work. So I'm gonna go to Tesco's and get some of the goods for the plausible crafts. Like I don't, don't wanna do ones that are quite clearly not gonna work because a lot of them quite clearly look like they weren't gonna work. So I'm doing the ones that actually look like, hey, this might work. We shall see. Where am I about, are we? Yeah. I wondered what was quiet in here. Like, we're really liking this, aren't we, at the moment? What's wearing each other's clothes? Is? Yeah. I really just say wearing each other's clothes is. Clothes is. Clothes is. Sweet mother of pearl, I've been out of uni for one week and I don't even know how to say clothes. I'm really getting into it. <laughs> Are we, Chloe? Yeah. Are we now? <laughs> Hello everyone, so I'm back from Tesco's now and we are going to be you doing the first hack um, which is for a watermelon. Now I'm actually quite particular with how I cut my watermelon and I feel like I've got it down fine art um, but this hack looks actually more effective um, so I'm going to give it a go and it said the quickest and easiest way to cut a watermelon and I have cut a lot of watermelons in my life. Last year um, at work experience I had to make so many fruit platters they were coming out of my eyes. You have to cut it. You good? Yeah. Just te testing a watermelon life hack dad. What's that? A life hack. Life hack. Life hack. Life hack. Correct. <laughs> works my mind will be blown incision three there are so many hacks for watermelon on the, on the internet i don't know why people have a fascination with watermelon like you know those ones where they put a drill in it and then they like blitz up or they turn it into a little keg so then what you do is you go oh my gosh when did you get there that was the freakiest thing you're very silent then you go along you've got it like that like a little cross hatch set drawing and then you just go around i won't lie this takes a lot longer than how i normally do it but that is i think it's gonna work so then all you do it says grab your bowl and turn it outside down drum roll please we feeling do we feel ready that is cool but there's a few bits of the bottom i can just get those out with a spoon I mean, I don't know if it was any quicker, but it was quite satisfying, wasn't it? Um, so hack number one, I would say that is a, a good hack, don't you? Don't have to faff around. It was a little bit faffy, but not that faffy. Um, so that first hack, done. The second hack involves the ice cubes, but I've already put those in the freezer. <laughs> So I've put a little B, so we know that that is the boiled water, and then I'm going to leave the other one plain for the cold water. So let's do this. This is very hard to do. I'm not the best at this sort of thing, I guess you could say. <laughs> I did that side so much better. I'm going to put this in the freezer now. So as you can see, there was not any difference really between the ice cubes. They were like a tiny bit clearer, up, but other than that, they were basically still super cloudy. So I'm kind of disappointed. Hi, so the next hack, as I mentioned, you basically glue strips down here. Do you remember in DT when everyone used to like get the glue on their fingers? Okay, we have glued her up. She looks like this, if you're wanting to know. Um, and we're gonna test her out once it's set a bit. Are you ready? To be fair, I'm getting a bit too uh, crazy with this now. Oh, I think it popped because a bit went in my eye. Who would do this for a party of, say you've got a party of 60 people, and that's normally why you buy these, who would glue gun every single bottle just to make sure? That was a bit ironic, wasn't it? Oh no. Don't worry for anyone who uh, is concerned about Banksy, I 
locked her inside when I was clearing up because I know last time I dropped glass on the floor, everyone thought I was a maniac and thought that I would let backseat in the kitchen whilst there was all that nonsense on the floor. Okay, so this time we're gonna be trying something which I really hope works because if it doesn't, I'm gonna have to buy my family a new kettle. Cola. I really hope I wasn't going to sue. I wonder how many people have sued 5 Minute Crafts because some of these, evidently the J2O bottle, to be fair, J2O bottle lasted a very long time before it got smashed and it had had some stress, hadn't it? It had been smashed and smashed and smashed on the floor. So to be fair, kudos and give it a half tick. Um, but this time, you want to look at the lime scale before, so I'm just going to take a video of the lime scale before. <laughs> If this works, I'm actually going to be gassed. If this doesn't work, my mum's going to be so mad. Cola in there. And now, it feels so wrong. It feels wrong. I feel like this is going to go horribly wrong and I really hope it doesn't. Bubbly. It's getting noisy. I'm really concerned. It's getting awfully bubbly. Please be careful. It's hot. It's hot. Fudge. People are going to be like, we shouldn't have done it because obviously it's not going to work. But you never know, they're telling me it's going to work, so I'm trying it. This is the most exciting one I've done yet. Because if this is work... No, it's not worked at all. It's with these five minute crafts, right? Everyone, everyone doesn't believe them and everyone knows they're a load of poppycock. But at the same time, every time I see one, I want to try it. I don't know if it's just something in the human brain that's like... Oh, that looks, it just makes me want to try them every single time. You you ha you were holding out hope for that Coke in the kettle to work a little bit. Well, they should at least put a disclaimer and be like, don't fill it up too much because it does boil over and could ruin your electrics. And no one wants their electrics gone. And then there's still loads of lime scale flying around in there. It's so annoying that kettles get lime scale. The world would be such a better place if you can get lime scale. We are going to try, I'd say that's an X for that one. This one involves our friend Pringles. Everyone loves Pringles. Actually, everyone might not love Pringles, but I love Pringles. And we all know the struggle with Pringles. I have really big hands. It's hard work getting into the Pringle can, I'm not gonna lie. Just, I don't know who, it just doesn't really, the Pringle can doesn't work very well. But, you know what they say about Pringles, once you pop, you just can't stop. Now I personally have never thought, oh, do you know what? I'm not gonna eat Pringles, because it's such a tough job getting my hand in the can. But I know some people that won't eat Pringles because they can't bother to get their hand in. You can just tilt the can and they can just come right out. So I don't really think it's that much of a problem. Also, nothing half full about this can. That is so true. Other crisps, you get loads of air. Not Pringles. This next one's pretty boring, but to be honest, I just wanted an excuse to eat some Pringles. So bear with me whilst I get the equipment for this one. Now I'm thinking about this is not even a life hack. I can't believe I even considered doing this one. Why am I doing this one? Why? Good job we've got some better ones coming up. You insert it. This doesn't even... You know the one you always see where it's like, put this in and then... It doesn't even work. I suppose it gets them out. Don't know if you can see that. Simple, just what you want to do, eat off some paper. In all honesty, that one's just pointless. That has not benefited my life, that has taken more time than me just shoving my hand in. I like to work for my food. I like to shove my hands in there, get the pain of contorting my hand into a Pringle-like shape, and then you get the reward of the crisp. That, no, no, mm -mm. Okay, so this is the last food-related one. There were, there's one more that I really, really am excited to try, because you'll see. But this one involves a peg, and toast. Now I genuinely, if this one works, I'll be really happy. They had a peg. Bear in mind it was a wooden peg, so I don't know if plastic's gonna work. But you know when your toast just gets a bit, I think this might work. So, yeah. This is just a bog standard peg. Any, you know, any garden probably has it. And you just shove your peg in there. Presumably when the power's turned off, because pegs still have metal on, and obviously metal conducts electricity. But then does plastic, undo that so turn the electricity off because safety first we've already had too many near misses today and then i mean it does have a tiny little scraping on and then what they did is they just took the peg 
put it on a cord, tidy. This very rarely happens, this front on view, but I kind of like it. And I feel like, you know, old school YouTube where people would be like, do their beauty favorites or whatever. I don't even remember what used to be on old YouTube, but it's not like it is anymore, that's for sure. Anyway, so this one is gonna be a confetti cannon. Here we're really trying to focus on doing the planet good, reusing things, sustainability. And here are all three items that I have already used. A balloon, this paper, which you actually saw earlier, has got some wet on it, and a toilet roll. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a confetti cannon. I'm not sure if it's gonna work because of the type of balloon I have got. All you have to do is you have to cut loads of little, little, you have to cut loads of little bits of paper which we're gonna use the paper from earlier. So you could even use like a magazine or a newspaper. So again, if this works, will be great. This is why the world is dying because everyone's living for convenience. And sometimes it's better to take a little bit longer if we wanna keep this planet thriving. This is a lot of fun actually. I love crafting. I could craft all darn day. Um, they did decorate it, I'm not gonna lie, with like fun colored paper, but it's just to see if it will work. So, I mean, this does have a good launch pad, okay. Ow. Oh, it did work! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna make, lo I'm gonna put loads of white stuff in there. Oh, imagine if you had like colors or some reusable, eco-friendly glitter. This is like the perfect way to end a video. Imagine if I could do a confetti every time. Be like, bye suckers, love you all. Oh. Hello? Why aren't you working? I'm confused. Ow! Ow! The elastic band hit me. I don't know why that's not working now. Do it. I'm just going to cut this elastic band off because I'm going to hurt myself. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Maybe don't try that one at home. Maybe I take back exactly what I just said about five minute crafts. I hope you've enjoyed. If you want me to try again, but with crafts, like, I know we've all seen the Jenna Marbles chair where she makes the jean denim chair, which I would love to try, but I know people say I'm copying her. Or if there's like another bigger craft, like, I don't know if there's a beanbag one or something fun to make, let me know down below. Hope you have a great day. Love you loads. Peace out. I've got to clear all this white stuff up now.